Hello and thank you very much for joining me again in the studio. I've still got my cables wrapped around my neck to stop it going... <laughs> so, my headset still hasn't arrived. What I, I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's working at the moment. Thanks for MacGyver. <laughs> I, I MacGyvered my headphone set. If anybody knows who MacGyver is, leave a comment in the comment box below. If you're as old as me. So, let's have a look at the colours. Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget so as we to look at the colours, I've got a little bit of cadmium yellow and I've got some hooker's green. I got some cerulean blue today. Um, because I wanted um, a blue that's on the green side, so I've got a green bias to it. Got some Prussian blue, some burnt umber, because I'm going to make some black with that, and some white. It's as simple as that. Now, I'm going to use again today this pad that I've got from um, an acrylic, acrylic pad. Um, it's the Windsor Newton Galleria acrylic pad. Um, 300, 300 gram, 140 pound, blah-de-blah-de-blah, 14 by 10. You pick what you want to do. Now, I did say in a previous video that it's better to gesso it than not gesso it. But I've been asked a question. What happens if you paint on it without gesso? So let's have a look. Let's see what we can do. Let's go against my own advice and have a go today. So I'm just going to put the, my two little pots by there. They're quite dirty. This is just ordinary tap water nothing in it whatsoever i'm not worried i'm painting on paper everything is going to be fine in an ideal world so a little bit of blue a little bit of blue and i'm thinking of painting something quite forestry today a little bit of a forest or something um yeah it's dragging i can tell you now already that paint is starting to drag but it is soaking in very, very quickly. Now, the thing with the acrylics, because it's got a, a plastic um, finish to it, in other words, you will find that your paint will dry plasticky because it's a plastic paint at the end of the day. That's all it is, a plastic paint. So I'm just going to put some green in, just like this. Just flicking it on. Let's just see... This could be something that you would do as a beginner, maybe. I don't know. But we'll try and replicate something like that. Some, something we've never painted on paper before. It's it's definitely a challenge. Um, it's not something that I would recommend you do first off, unless you've got some gesso or something on it. Um, because it, if it, unless you know how... A cr I'm very lucky because I know acrylics like the back of my hand. I do. I know. I know what they're capable of doing. And but when you first start out, it, it, it they can be so difficult to manipulate, and to get them to do exactly what you want. You know how much water do you use? What do you use water with them? In certain circumstances, you can't use too much. You can only use. Um, you can't thin them down more than forty percent. Really, if you're painting on canvas, because the paint's going to flake away. Um, but on paper like this, well, it doesn't really matter how thin you put that paint on at the end of the day because it's on paper and it's going to absorb into there. Um, it doesn't really matter. So let's just put a little bit of green. Let's get some yellow over there and some white. I'm just going to put a bit of a light spot in my painting that, that like as if it's maybe a bit of light coming through or something there we go there we are let's get let's get them um, let's get them um, this hook is green. Down there like that. Da 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 
we're in a bit darker there, maybe. A bit darker there. Yeah, it's it's dragging. It 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 is definitely dragging. It's not. I'm finding it difficult to manipulate this paint, um, and to get it to do what I want it to do. I'm using a lot of water, a lot of water in this instance, a lot of water. I've lost my blue now. Just by playing, I've lost my blue. So let's get a bit more light in there. I want a bit of blue in the background. We'll put a bit of blue in there in a second. Let's just get a bit of... Let's just drag some of that in. Let's get a bit more bright. I want a bit brighter. Maybe. Yeah, let's get another brush and let's see if I just dump that brush now. Bit a bit of moisture on my brush and see if I can just maybe just blend that in a touch like that. Looks quite misty there, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I think what I'm going to do now is boom, 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 bit of blue and bit of blue and oh, let's get a little bit of Prussian blue. A little bit of Prussian blue and yeah, a little bit of Prussian blue and some cerulean blue, a bit of white to that, and a bit of bit of burnt amber to it. Let's have a look what that looks like. Now it wants to be a lot lighter than that, so you can see it's like a, a blue greyish type of color. It's like a grey grey type of colour because I put the burnt amber with it with a bit of touch br brush and blue so we've got that greyish type of colour which is what I'm looking for I'm just making this up as I go along now. Okay. So um this let's just put a little bit of this colour. Just plop it in, wash your brush off, just bloop, 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 bloop. Wash it in down there, like that. Bloop, 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 bloop. Get a bit of that greeny colour. Nice dark green, just plain up this green now, straight into there. Just like that. Now you will see that the the paper will warp a little bit but that's okay that's okay you let it do what it's got to do so is that dry now I don't know if that's dry enough actually I'm gonna dry that with a hairdryer Boom, 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 boom. It should be dry enough now. Um, I've got a mind to get another brush. Just get another brush. Well, let's just get this. I want to get this bit of light. Yeah, just a nice light wash. Just over there, just like that. Just missed it back a bit. A bit of light there now, and that's misted that off as well. Okay, so now we need 
get one of these foliage brushes of mine. I got a foliage brush here. I'm not washing my palette too much. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to get some nice light green. And now I'm just going to put in just some bits and things like this. Oh, so good, so good, so good. Wow, that I see, I see some potential there. Let's get a brush. Let's get a brush. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy today. Let's go. Let's get a brush. Let's get a brush and. some lines in like that. Do 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 Let's get some grass, bed some of these in, just like this. Boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. Now, if you've never painted before, just have a little bit of fun and just go for go for broke, as they say. You never know what things are going to look like until you try to do stuff, and it's always fun to just paint for fun. There you go. Because you never know what could turn out, to be honest. And this is just blodging paint on. This is not really giving it any thought, really. It's just blodge, 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 blodge. Blodge, blodge, blodge. Anybody can paint. Anybody can make a painting. <laughs> Anybody can make a painting up. I try to encourage people to st give it a go because you never know. You never know what what you can 
what you can do. You never know what you are capable of until you try. And I think it's very important that if we don't fear things, really, we should just go and do and have fun. Just do. When we were children, we we didn't really care, did we? We didn't really care what people thought or nothing or, of our work or, you know. It's just have fun. Just put some branches and stuff in some trees and some twiglets and you know it, it, these things are everywhere aren't they they just they just it could be trees it could be branches you don't know what they are an old dead tree there maybe there we go an old dead tree there just catching a bit of light there we go an old dead tree in there bum 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 Let's get a let's get a bit of darker brown because that's quite a big old uh, cronky old branch. Let's just hang there. There we go. Going behind there, right? <laughs> do 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 do. Any old thing, you can even get a scrape in a few bits and pieces. There you go, just like that. We could now, I think, just get some leaves. Bit of bright. Just build your painting up. Don't worry, have fun. It's just like... Just just enjoy yourself. Just This, this is what I want you to do. Is I want you to just get some paint on the canvas and have fun and just enjoy... creating stuff. It's not all about perfection. It's not all about getting things to look... Perfect. I'm gonna bring a bit of light down to there. There we go. Bring a bit of light in there. It's like as if uh, there's just a bit of light catching that side of that bank there. Just put a little bit of green in and just a bit of shadow in there like that. Get another brush. Let's have a bit of fun. Maybe. Maybe it's just a little stream or something. Maybe it's a puddle or so. I don't know, a big puddle. <laughs> it's a big puddle. <laughs> Who knows? 
Who knows? But it is now. It is now. Put a bit of green there. Let's just drag a bit of that down. Doesn't have to be accurate. There we are. We can, we'll be okay. We'll be alright with that. Do, 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 do. So, as a beginner, if you've never painted, just just have fun, just just enjoy, go for it. You know, you got you. This is this is not going to win any art competitions. Trust me, it's not. But it's going to allow you to to have a little bit of fun. It's going to allow you to have a little bit of fun and and to relax into yourself and just go. Well, you know, at the end of the day, that's all it is. At the end of the day, that's all it is. Is just a painting. That we can have fun with. And why the heck not? Why why can't we just just paint for fun? I I don't I'm I'm I'm. I just want to see people enjoy. Painting to relax. I really do. Tell you what, let's let's mix a bit of black. Let's get some burnt umber and some Prussian blue. These are supposed to be silver birches. I'm going to need. I'm not going to put black on my palette. I, I am going to put black on my palette. <laughs> I am. Where's my black? Let's get a bit of Mars black out. There we go. Oh, we go. There we are. That's better. Let's do it properly. Let's do it. Let's have a bit of fun. Let's try. Let's see if we can just have a bit of fun with this. And this is just painting for painting's sake. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Just a couple of silver birches there, maybe. Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? Do, 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 do. Just a couple. Bom, 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 bom. And let's just put a few little blades of grass in. What I wanted to take from this lesson is the fact that we can just play with paint. We can enjoy. It's not the best painting in the world. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that you know these 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 type of things that I'm doing and and I'm learning as I'm going along with this because I, I as I said I didn't just for the paper so. It it is being a little bit of a task for me, but at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. It's about learning and about being real. I'm I'm not going to hide f my mistakes, or I'm not going to hide my successes from you. That's something I'm not going to do. If things don't work, then they don't work, and if they don't work when I'm on camera, I'm not going to 
I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to edit things out. I don't like that idea. I, I like to be real. And it's important that we be truthful and honest with ourselves. Because there's not enough there's not enough truth and honesty in the world, I don't think. Especially with politics. But we're not going down that road. Well we can all have a bit of fun. We're all we're all we're all capable of enjoyment if we just allow ourselves to have a bit of fun things can be wonderful and you can make these little worlds up and thi this is not about I keep saying this is not about painting because you want to sell something this is painting to to try and create and relax you could you could change this completely into a different painting in and take it to a canvas and and do something completely hundred percent thousand percent better than 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 you've done here but at the end of the day it's about relaxation now i can sit here i can sit here for hours and hours and paint in um, wonderful works of art if i wanted to but it's not all about that i've been suffering terrible with mental health issues for quite a number of years now and what I've, what I've, what my art has brought to me is the fact that it gives me peace, it gives me tranquility. I find I'm at, I'm at ease with myself when I'm painting this. I'm, I'm not stressed about what it looks like. This is what I'm trying to say. I'm not, it doesn't worry me what it looks like. Um, all I'm trying to get from this painting is the uh, the the excitement and the enjoyment that I'm and no stress I don't want to stress I don't want to be painting when there's stress why do I want to paint with stress <laughs> why well I I got a number of I got a number of paintings here um, this particular oh, I've, I've showed you this one before I'm sure um, but I'm going to show it to you again because this particular one I'm gonna I am going to be working on um, Again, I, I've got to put some ivy in there and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be videoing that part of it. I want to finish this off. I'm going to be videoing the finishing part of it. But I've stressed over that painting and it's been, it's been up and down off the easel. And there's portraits that I've done over the years. Um, I haven't got any to show you. But yeah, it's paint to relax is what I'm trying to say. And chill. Anyway, have a bit of fun with that. I hope my advice and I hope the, the painting has given you something to think about. So um, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.